Hi everybody. In this video, I'd like to speak about the uh, latest uh, feature I added to my system, uh, which is the adjustment of uh, irrigation duration uh, according to the weather forecast. Uh, just a quick background about this uh, software. This is an open source software, which main purpose is to provide uh, irrigation and automation for growers. You can find uh, the links uh, in the video description about the uh, web page uh, and the uh, GitHub repository. The software runs on Raspberry Pi 3, 4 and Raspberry Pi 0 W. And uh, the main connection interface is the Wi-Fi and also can be connected by Ethernet interface. So let's go to, to check the new feature. Uh, you can see here on the screen is the access to the uh, web interface. This is the main page and uh, as you can see in the latest uh, release of the software, there is also this page, the weather API. So let's go on it. Okay, first of all, you get this warning and uh, I will briefly explain that uh, uh, this feature is based on the weather services provided by third party weather service provider. There are many on the web and uh, they have their own interfaces and uh, data plan. It means that uh, they, they charge for the data they give to you. But uh, some of them provide also free uh, data plan that is limited in terms of uh, number of queries and the usage of, of the data. So this warning is to say that in case the third party provider change the API or restrict the data, then this function is not going to work anymore. That's it. Okay, so let's, let's try to set up uh, this function. Uh, first of all, uh, uh, we had to uh, decide which uh, weather uh, provider we we want to choose. Uh, so we go to select preset API config and we will find that is one file that is weatherabi.txt. So uh, indeed there is only one file. Uh, this is because uh, I just used this weather provider. But uh, in the future there may be a list of weather providers what is needed is to create the configuration file according to the API of that specific provider. And this is not so difficult to do. So uh, in case you have a suggestion, uh, which where the provider should be included in this list, please uh, send me a comment to this uh, video. Okay, so let's choose this uh, weather API and apply select API setting. We, we see now that the interface changed and we have uh, several fields. But the first uh, uh, field to check is this one. That is uh, the link to the provider. Let's open. And you will see this is the, the weather provider I used. And uh, there are the information, but also you can see there is uh, the plan and pricing, so let's go to pricing just to check. And there is a free plan uh, where you can get uh, to 20,000 calls per month, uh, the all time weather, three days Indian town weather daily, and so on. So you can get uh, Sunday. And uh, it's enough for our, for our system. Uh, then uh, the next thing you have to do is to get uh, a key this key will allow you to access uh, the API and um, you have to do by logging in for example if you if we click get started here then you have to sign up and um, that will give you the key so let's go back to our system interface we have to fill in the key and the location for each of the parameters that is uh, that are on the interface. For the key, we had to just insert the, the one that has been provided to us. And for the location, uh, normally we had to put the name of the city, the name of the country, sorry, the name of the city, the name of the region, and the name of the country. For example, for my city, I can put this string. For me, it's the name of the city. 
Lazio is the name of the region and Italy is the country. So this thing should work. And then I divide it for all the fields. Now, once you, has, you have set the key and the location, we can start to uh, test if the query worked properly. And we can push the button query the provider API. Sorry, first we have to save it. So we go down and we save it. And then query, query the provider API. After the clicking this button, we can see that uh, the field are now filled with some numbers. For example, for data parameter one, we have rain forecast, a current day in millimeter is zero. Rain forecast for the next day in millimeter is zero. And rain forecast in the next two days in millimeter is 0.9. So this month is not so rainy in uh, this uh, location. And we can see that also the location, uh, name, region, and country has been filled in. And these, uh, these values are coming from the weather provider, should be in line with what you wrote in the string. Then uh, let's go to the rain multiplier section. And this is the section where the value is calculated and this value will influence the irrigation duration. To calculate the value, the system will consider the parameter 1, 2, and 3. And these parameters, as we have seen, are the uh, forecast of the rain in the millimeter that will come in the next two days. Uh, we have weights. So parameter 1, for example, will be multiplied by minus 5. Parameter 2 will be multiplied by minus 2 to 5 and parameter 3 by minus 1. So we have the parameter multiplied by these weights and then summed together. At the end, there will be 100 plus this value, which is negative. We will have a percentage that range from 100 to 0. I put these weights according to my understanding and experience about the weather here in my region. Anyway, these parameters can be changed according to your situation. Now we can test the calculation of the formula and this value is going to be directly multiplied to the irrigation duration. So to test it, we can click this button, test query and array multiply calculation. Let's click it. And we have a number, so it's 99.1. This is in line with the expectation because uh, the forecast of the rain was very low. Then let's move, let's move on. Here we have the irrigation line and we can select some of them. And then we need to save the configuration. Next thing we need to do is to apply setting and generate counter. This means that the system now has generated one counter, which is exactly the value that we have seen before that is going to be multiplied by the duration. Now I will show the graph of this uh, counter that I used uh, for some weeks in my other system. And here it is the graph. As you can see, this week was not so rainy and the uh, weather forecast provided just a small amount of precipitation. So the value range uh, between 100 and 80. And around this time, uh, the forecast starts to give a higher probability of precipitation. And uh, as you can see, the value dropped until zero. And then it recover. And after that, uh, we will see the value are very high, meaning that uh, there is very low probability of rain. With this graph, it will be very easy to fine tune your weights in the way that best fit your, your situation. To summarize, regarding the irrigation, my target was to 
try to use the water in the most efficient way because the water as we know is a very precious resource and uh, to do this uh, the system can use uh, several strategies for example we can connect a rain sensor to the system in the way that when there is rain it will stop irrigation we can use the soil moisture sensor uh, in this way we can even avoid the, the scheduling but uh, we can just uh, let the sensor understand when irrigation is needed and when it's not needed and then we have this uh, way that is based uh, on weather forecast that I will call it a proactive way because if we have probability of rain in the next days the system will start to adjust the irrigation to reduce the irrigation in preparation for the rain in the areas where the weather forecast is accurate this may be very useful I hope this feature will help you to, to be more efficient with the water usage and uh, thank you for watching.